The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. Let's talk about joining knots. One of my favorite is the improved blood. It's a fantastic knot for attaching two dissimilar pieces of monofilament together. It's great if you're constructing a saltwater leader and you're trying to put a class tippet in it. Um, and to tie that knot, we'll start off with a fairly small diameter piece of material in my right hand, a fairly large diameter piece of material in my left hand. And to tie the knot, we'll start by first doubling over the smaller diameter tippet material. So we're tying it with two strands. We'll take that and we're going to lay that over on top of the larger diameter material. Next, we're going to take and wrap away from us three turns around the main line. One, two, three turns. And we're going to take that tag in and come tuck it in the V of our two materials. Next, we're going to take our large diameter end and we're going to wrap it going away from us three times as well. One, two, three turns. And we're going to take that tag end and we're going to tuck it back through the same V as our other tag end. We want to take both tag ends and draw the slack out of the knot like so. Trying to eliminate as much slack from this knot as possible is really going to aid us when we go to seed it. A lot of moisture or a lot of lubricant when tightening, tightening this knot or seating this knot is going to be very helpful. Make sure you've got a good grip on both ends and draw that down nice and tight. So we're going to be left with a number of tag ends that we're going to trim off here. We'll start at the bottom. We're going to trim our long tag end of the smaller material. Get rid of that. We've got two more tag ends to trim, our heavy material tag end, get rid of that, our small material tag end, get rid of that. So this is the finished improved blood knot. Like I said, it's one of my favorite for connecting two dissimilar sizes of material. Here's the improved blood knot tied with some smaller diameter tip and material. That's uh, improved blood knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 8.31 pounds, which equates to 78% of the tinsel strength of the nylon it was tied in. The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. Let's take a look at the blood knot. The blood knot's one of the best general purpose knots for connecting a tippet to a leader, uh, connecting two dissimilar sized pieces of uh, monofilament together, and it's really easy to tie. Um, I've got my two pieces here. The one in my right hand is gonna be a little bit smaller diameter than the one in my left hand. To start the knot, I'm gonna take with about uh, four inches or so, uh, of tag end or overhang on uh, each end and with the smaller one I'm laying it on top of the larger one I'm going to wrap around going away from me four times with the smaller material I'm going to come back up to the inside and tuck that there securing it with my thumb and forefinger then I'm going to take the larger material wrapping again away from me four times one two three four times and then I'm going to go back in through the center that I've got created right there. I'm going to give a little tug so these overlap a little bit. And you know that you've got the knot ready to seat when you've got opposing ends right here. This end's going out 180 degrees from this end, completely opposite. I'm going to take, get some moisture on the knot here. And I'm going to draw it nice and tight. Come back with your clippers, get my tag ends cleaned up, and we've got the blood knot. Here's the blood knot that's been tied in some monofilament, and that's the blood knot. On a single Instron test, 
This knot broke at 7.19 pounds, which equates to 68% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. The surgeon knot is a great knot for joining together two bits of line, tippet to leader, two bits of tippet, whatever. Uh, you can tie two twists, three twists, four twists into it, make a double surgeon, a triple surgeon, or quadruple surgeon. That's per individual preference. So very simply, you start off by having your two materials like this with the ends pointing in opposite directions. And you overlap them by about six inches on each, either side. And I like to kind of create a Chinaman's moustache, a Fu Manchu moustache, pull them down like this, getting the tags about even here. Then if you're right-handed, pinch it in the middle. And with your left hand, you can just slide your hand down towards the end of the tippet material. And you just roll them over to create a crossed loop like this. And then, quite simply, you're gonna pull both these tags on the right-hand side through. Now, I like to utilize these fingers here to hook them, grab them there, and I put my finger in and just pull through like that. I find that a really quick way into here. Grab, see, I can, I can quite easily catch that in rather than try and find it and thread it through. And if I stop there and tightened it now, that's a double surgeon. If I want a little more strength in my knot, and I go around one more time, pull through and make a triple surgeon. And then as you pull this thing tight, you'll find that that knot will start to try and pull into a figure of eight. Boom. And once you get that figure of eight shape, that's the point where you want to moisten the knot or use a little chapstick, whichever your preference is to tighten up a knot. And then you just go to hold all four ends and carefully pull this knot all the way until it's locked. So that's the triple surgeon. And that's tied in that red and yellow stuff so you can see it. Here's what it looks like in regular 10 pound material that uh, is cinched down with the tags chopped off, nice and neat. And one other advantage of this, apart from joining two bits of material together, I use this to add a dropper. I'm a big fan of fishing teams of flies. So I like to fish two flies, three flies, five flies. Um, so to do that, Basically, you take the same knot, and instead of chopping off both tag ends, you just chop off one tag, and in advance of tying this knot, you ensure that you leave the tag you're not going to chop off long enough to tie a second fly onto. And you always want this to be the downward tag, because when you're fighting a fish, here's the rod pulling up, here's the fish pulling down, you're tightening the knot up. I've seen a few people who tie this when I've kind of been teaching them and learning this, and they leave the upward tag. And if you have the upward tag, when you're fighting the fish, you're going to tear the knot open. Ooh, so it's a lot weaker. So leave the downward tag for your strength. Leave it long enough to tie your second fly on. And that is the double or triple surgeon. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 7.03 pounds which equates to 66% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. The Uni Jam knot is another knot that joins materials together. Uh, it's got a couple of things that's going for it. One is that you can join very long lengths. So you don't have to pull long lengths through. Uh, the other thing to remember, it's a good knot for joining similar sizes of material. You don't want to join very big discrepancy in materials. Um, so bearing those points in mind, you basically start off by creating a bit of an X. You overlap the two materials, and I create an X in the materials. And then I pinch the X with my right hand, make sure the tags are about eight inches either side, like this. And then when I'm ready to tie, I'm gonna pinch that X with my left hand, and with the right hand tag, I take it round the back, in this case of the yellow, and loop it up and tuck it into my left thumb and index finger like that. It's gone round the back and tucked in here. 
And then quite simply, you just take this standing tag and fold it through here once, twice, three times minimum, four, five if you want, but three times is fine. And then you just tighten this. And you can see the red one kind of tightening up like that. Then you're going to do exactly the same. You flip it around the other way. And take the yellow end here. And again, the yellow end is going to go round underneath the red and back to your pinch in the left hand here. And then this tag is going to go through this hole the same number of times. One, two, three. And as before, you tighten that. And you kind of get it medium tight, kind of semi tight here. And then you start to slide the two together. You can see why it's called a uni jam knot because they jam together. And at a point where they touch, that's where you lick, lick it or chapstick it. Little chapstick touch, help it slide up. And then you just pull all four bits here until you get this nice, comfortable seated knot like so. And then you let your tag ends go and just carefully pull the knot tight. Very easy like that. And that is the uni knot. So it's a great knot for joining two similar diameter materials together at the same time. And again, that's it in the red and yellow material. And you look at it in the tippet material with the ends tied off and tagged tied off. Again, hard to see from that distance, but just a nice, neat, tidy joining knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 6.99 pounds, which equates to 66% of the tinsel strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.